With the Tutor LMS Parent and Student Access add-on, parents can enroll their children in the courses of their choice. They can also view the student's course progress, which will be visible from the parent's dashboard. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the configuration and function of the add-on. Let's get started. Firstly, install and activate the Tutor LMS Parent and Student Access add-on. Great! Now you can find the Tutor LMS Parent and Student Access heading under the Tutor LMS drop-down menu. This heading will take you to the add-on settings. First, let's take a look at all available shortcodes from the Shortcodes tab. Here you will find three different shortcodes. Parent Dashboard Form. This shortcode creates a parent dashboard that can be used to link, unlink, and check the child's progress, child registration, and invitation. Parent Registration Form. This shortcode allows you to add a registration form for parents. On the registration page, there will also be an Add Child button from where the parents can register their child while registering themselves. Child Registration Form. You have to place this shortcode on a dedicated page where only the student that is the child can register. You can select this shortcode added page from the drop-down, available on the Shortcode Settings tab. The students that are invited by email will land on this page to complete their registration. Our next tab is Settings. User Role. Here you can select a user roles that will have access to the WordPress backend dashboard. These user roles will only have access to Add Child tab. Subject. Here you can add the subject of the email. Child register email template. Set the email template that parents will send to their child by using the parents dashboard on the front end. We can link a child with its parent from add child tab. Parent list. Once the parent registers successfully, you can select the parent from this dropdown. Child list. After successful registration of the child. Here you can add the child of the parent. All parent and children entries will be visible in the table and you can also edit or bulk delete them. Now let's take a look at the parent's dashboard on the front end. Link child. This is the first tab of the parent dashboard and here parents can link and unlink their children. To link, select the child from the dropdown and click on the link child button. To unlink, click on the unlink button that appears in front of every linked child. Children progress. This is the second tab. And here you can see the total number of enrolled, active, and completed courses along with the child's progress. To check the specific course progress, select the child from the Select Child drop-down menu. Then select the courses from the Select Courses drop-down menu and click on the User Progress button. You can unenroll the child or reset the course progress directly from under the Course Progress bar by clicking on the Unenroll and Reset Progress buttons respectively. My Courses, once the parent will enroll in a course, then from this tab you can enroll and unenroll children in that course. To enroll a child in a specific course, simply select the child's name from the Select Child drop-down of that course and click on Enroll. To unenroll a child from a specific course, simply click on the Unenroll button that appears on that course. Registering New Child. This is the last tab and here you can send the invitation email to your child for registration. If you have access to the child's email, then instead of inviting, you can register him or her directly as a child on the site. For further information about anything we've been through in this tutorial, you can refer back to the plugin documentation available on the Wooninja's website. As you can see, by integrating the Tutor LMS Parent and Student add-on into your e-learning site, you will save valuable time and effort within your daily student's parents' management. Thanks for watching.